Today we're going to be looking at solving a quartic equation with Vieta's formula and to do that we're going to solve this question here. Find the quartic polynomial with rational coefficients which has these two roots here. Okay now before we get stuck into that what we're going to do is we are going to just uh, have a quick chat about Vieta's formula so that uh, people know what it is. So basically let's have a quick look. We'll come back to the question in a minute. So for a quadratic if you have a quadratic equation, ax squared add bx add c equals zero, uh, and let's say that the roots are alpha and beta, then the sum of those roots, alpha add beta, is equal to minus b over a, and the product of those roots, alpha beta, is equal to c over a, uh, and this is the one that uh, we, we're just going to focus on a tiny bit here. The c is the constant there, and the a is the first coefficient here, and that product is positive, and we'll see why I've just um, said that in a minute. For a cubic, uh, we have ax cubed add bx squared add cx add d equals zero. Let's say the roots are with roots alpha, beta and gamma. Then we have alpha add beta add gamma, i.e. the sum of the roots is equal to minus b over a. That's the same as for the quadratic. Um, alpha beta add beta gamma add gamma alpha, i.e. the sum of the product of each all of the two roots, the combinations, is equal to c over a. And alpha beta gamma, i.e. the product of the three roots, is equal to minus d over a. And a lot of people get confused with that. With a cubic, the product of the roots is minus the constant over the first term. And for a quadratic, it is plus but anyway what we're actually looking for here is a quartic which is today's question for a quartic ax to the 4 add bx cubed add cx squared add dx add e equals 0 which has got roots at the roots alpha beta gamma and delta then alpha add beta add gamma add delta which is the sum of the roots is equal to minus b over a, which is again the same uh, as, the, uh, as the cubic and the quadratic. Alpha beta add uh, alpha gamma add alpha delta add beta gamma add beta delta add gamma delta, which is the sum of all of the pairs multiplied together, is equal to c over a. Alpha beta gamma add alpha beta delta add alpha gamma delta add beta gamma delta is equal to minus d over a, i.e. that's basically the sum of uh, taking any three of the four. And then finally, our uh, product of the roots, alpha beta gamma delta, is equal to e over a, which again, this time is positive. So for a quartic and a quadratic, the product of the roots is plus the final constant divided by the first coefficient and for a cubic it is minus now just uh, it does look a little bit horrific but actually it's not on this one here basically there are six terms we have to worry about which is basically 4c2 i.e. 4 factorial over 2 factorial 2 factorial which equals 6 because there are six uh, there are six ways to choose any two of the four roots and multiply them together and then this one here is 4c1 or 4c3 depending on when you look at it that's 4 factorial over 3 factorial 1 factorial which is 4 okay now before we do the uh, question at hand using Vieta's formula, which is quite elegant. Um, we're going to do it with the what would possibly be called the standard way. And there's one way that you definitely don't do it. But before we go to that, we're going to use the conjugate roots theorem. So for the conjugate roots theorem, conjugate roots theorem, that basically says that as long as we have rational coefficients to our quartic, then basically as 3 plus root 2 root 2 is a root, we know that also 3 minus 2 root 2 is a root, and as 2 plus 3 root 2 is a root, we know therefore that 2 minus 3 root 2 is a root. So in actual fact, we have all four roots. So what we could do, but don't do this, is the following. What we could do is we could say, okay, well, that's good. We got, here's our first uh, root x minus 3 plus 2 root 2. And then we could multiply that by 
x minus 3 minus 2 root 2. And then we could multiply that by x minus 2 add 3 root 2. And then we could multiply that by x minus 2 minus 3 root 2. And we could multiply all four of those out together. It would take us a long time, but we would get the answer. Much better, whenever you're going to do this method, look at the conjugate pairs and multiply them together first to get two quadratics and then multiply the two quadratics. So multiplying this one here, that gives us x squared minus 3 add 2 root 2x minus 3 minus 2 root 2 x add 3 add 2 root 2 uh, sorry 3 minus 2 root 2 equals 0 and the reason why it's a good idea to multiply the conjugate pairs out is because this is difference of two squares and these some of these actually cancel out so that gives us x squared minus 6x because the root 2's cancel out add by the difference of two squares this bit is 3 squared minus 2 root 2 squared equals 0 and that equals x squared minus 6x add 1. So we have our first quadratic and now let's multiply these two out. Uh, remember this is the method that doesn't use uh, Vieta's formula. We're going to use Vieta's formula, the second method, to, uh, uh, to show you how to do that. So the second one we got x minus 2 add 3 root 2 times x minus 2 minus 3 root 2 and that basically equals x squared minus 2 add 3 root 2 x minus 2 minus 3 root 2 x add 2 add 3 root 2 2 minus 3 root 2 and again that's difference of two squares and some of these are going to cancel and so that gives us x squared minus 4x add by difference of two squares that's 2 squared minus 3 root 2 squared which equals x squared minus 4x minus 14. Now we have our two quadratics, and all we need to do now is multiply them together, which is far easier. Um, all we've got to do is be a little bit careful. So that's x squared minus 6x minus 1 times x squared minus 4x minus 14 equals 0. This is our answer. That gives us x to the 4 minus 6x cubed add x squared minus 4x cubed. Add 24x squared minus 4x minus 14x squared. Add 84x minus 14 equals 0. And then just uh, collecting like terms gives us x to the 4 minus 10x cubed. Add 11x squared. Add 80x minus 14 equals 0. And that is our answer. And there's nothing wrong with doing it that way at all. Um, but make sure that you do multiply out your conjugate pairs first rather than going through. If you multiplied all of this lot out longhand, it would take forever to get this answer. But that is the correct answer. OK, but now what we're going to do is we're going to do it with Vieta's formula. Um, because it's quite elegant and it does, um, uh, you know, it does, does show a different way of doing this. So let's, let's, uh, uh, our general quartic is going to be ax to the 4 and bx cubed and cx squared and dx add e equals zero. That's our general quartic. And we know that uh, alpha add beta add gamma add delta equals minus b over a. And we know that alpha beta add, uh, what was it, alpha gamma add alpha delta add beta gamma add beta delta add gamma delta is c over a. These are Vieta's formula here. Formulae. Alpha beta gamma add alpha beta delta add alpha gamma delta add beta gamma delta is minus d over a and alpha beta gamma delta is equal to e over a and we know that our four roots are 3 plus 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 2, 2 plus 3 root 2 and 2 minus 3 root 2 and we can call them if we want alpha, beta, gamma and delta, it doesn't really matter. Um, now basically when you get used to this, you can do it very quickly. I will do it longhand, and it may well look as if this is a really long method, but in actual fact, you, you can do it quite quickly once you get used to it. So, alpha add beta add gamma add delta, we need to add these four roots 
here, well, basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it all out, but you'll see you could do this in your head. So that's basically 3 add 2 root 2, add 3 minus 2 root 2, add 2, add 3 root 2, add 2 minus 3 root 2. And well, that clearly all the root 2s cancel, that equals 10. So basically, minus b over a is equal to 10. So we've got our first coefficient there. Now let's do the pairs. We're going to do this one next and do the pairs. And again, I'm going to write it out longhand. But once you get used to it, you can do it in your head. So basically, 3 add 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 2. Well, obviously, we've done that one already. That equals 1. 3 add 2 root 2 times 2 add 3 root 2 equals 6 add 13 root 2 my add 12. And you can see these are going to cancel in a minute. 3 add 2 root 2. 2 minus 3 root 2 is equal to 6 minus 2 root 2 minus 12. 3 minus 2 root 2 times 2 add 3 root 2 is equal to 6 add 2 root 2 minus 12. 3 minus 2 root 2 times 2 minus 3 root 2 is 6 minus 13 root 2 add 12. And finally, we have 2 add 3 root 2, 2 minus 3 root 2. That equals 4 minus 18, which is minus 14. Now, when we add all of these up, we can see that the 12s cancel and all of the root 2s cancel. And by the way, these must cancel because we know that uh, our quartic has rational coefficients because we were told that. So we can't have one of the coefficients being root 2. So in actual fact, when you do these in your head, you don't even need to bother doing the root 2 bit of it. All you need to do is worry about the rational part, and that makes it even quicker. But basically, anyway, adding them up, we get 1 add 6 times 4 minus 14, which is equal to 11. And so therefore, that is equal to C over A. OK, now let's have a look at D over A. Uh, basically, it gets it again, I will write it out, but you can do it in your head. So 3 add 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 2, 2 add 3 root 2. Well, we know that that is equal to 1. We've already worked that out. So that equals 2 add 3 root 2. 3 add 2 root 2 times 3 minus 2 root 2 times uh, 2 minus 3 root 2. Well, again, we know that is 1, so that equals 2 minus 3 root 2. So in actual fact, we didn't need to do that calculation at all because we know that that bit is going to be 4. And then when we have uh, 3 minus 2 root 2, where am I up to? 3, uh, sorry, 3 add 2 root 2 times 2 add 3 root 2 times 2 minus 3 root 2. Well, we know this is minus 14. So that equals minus 42 minus 28 root 2. And finally, 3 minus 2 root 2 times 2 add 3 root 2 times 2 minus 3 root 2 is equal to minus 42 add 28 root 2. And again, we knew that was minus 14. So we could have done these two in our head anyway as being minus 84. <clears throat> so basically, we now know that minus d over a is equal to minus 84 minus 84. And then finally, our fifth one, again, I'll write it out, but we don't need to. The product of the whole four, 3 add 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 2, 2 add 3 root 2, 2 minus 3 root 2. That's the product of all four. Well, we know that's 1 and we know that's minus 14. So we know that's minus 14. So e over a is equal to minus 14. Now, as all of these are integers, we therefore know that a is 0. And all we need to do now is just plonk them into our quartic. So our quartic is x to the 4 minus, let's have a look, what was b over a? Minus b over a was 10, which means that uh, the b is minus 10. 10x cubed. c over a was 11, so that's at 11x squared. D minus D over A is minus 80, which means that D is plus 80. And then E over A is minus 14, which is minus 14, equals 0. And there, using Vieta's formula, we have also found the equation of the quartic, which is obviously exactly the same uh, as the way that we did it. Now, obviously do whichever method is most comfortable uh, to you. Um, I like Vieta's formula, even if you don't do it in an exam, doing it... Um, 
uh, in, in practice is a good idea because it really does teach you exactly what each of the coefficients of a quartic do mean. Anyway, hope you found this useful. If you have, please like the video and subscribe to the Gristy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.